Well, this is SIUK's third annual conference and it's been absolutely fantastic to see so many people here. It's great to get people together to hear about the latest research, but it's equally important for people to hear about practical ways that they can uh, manage their condition. Really, this conference is a vital part of the year for the charity because it brings patients, carers and experts together and it builds a community and awareness for the future. So I've been talking about biologics and how they work in uh, connective tissue diseases including lupus and also how there's been limited success in biological therapy so far across the connective tissue diseases and how we're beginning to understand why personalised medicine may be the way forward for these conditions. Well I've been talking about the research that has come from SRUK and its preceding organisations and the value of that research to patients and to the treatment of scleroderma. We've just got funded uh, by the NIHR to do a trial on uh, fat stem cell in the face to improve facial function. So that's about to start actually in the next three or four months. So I've been at a conference today talking about public involvement in health research. So that's the way that we involve patients, carers and the public in deciding what research to fund and how we design it and how we disseminate it to the wider public. So today I was presenting um, some of the work that has been done on the BSR guideline for systemic sclerosis, highlighting the importance of diagnosis, of referral to specialised centres and of treating the complications of the disease um, when they occur. I think it's a nice mixture of talks and also workshops for patients where they're free to ask questions maybe on a more individual basis. There are five breakout sessions which are designed to support patients in practical aspects of their care, to understand more about their conditions and indeed this year for the first time we have a session for carers in particular to understand how they can help patients and how we can help them. It's a great opportunity to talk to one another, to share their experiences and to find some sort of comfort and support through um, you know, engaging with others. I've been diagnosed 18 years ago, it's like a bombshell going off and um, life was pretty awful but I was given hope with stem cells, because stem cells are definitely the way forward and I've written a book based on my life experiences uh, before scleroderma, um, yeah, living in, living in South Africa and the donations are going to scleroderma research. So we provide a range of products, uh, keep one products for people that have the condition, either rain nodes or scleroderma. So we sell things like gloves and socks. And we also have a Christmas shop as well that are kind of more kind of things like Christmas cards, gift wraps, that kind of stuff that all the profits of which help support the charity. I'm here to provide massage for everybody here that's, that's at uh, the conference. It relaxes, it can take pain away, it's very much holistic and looking after the person behind the disease, which is really important. Well, today's the first time I have met anybody else with scleroderma, so that's been a, a, a great thing. I live in the very far north of Scotland and feeling pretty isolated with this diagnosis that I had last year. This has given me another sort of a, a kick on that, that things may be not so bad, but knowing new things that I can do and people that I can go and see to help me. The most interesting thing so far is the talk about genetics and early life influences. And I must say also, it's so nice to be able to meet other people with this condition because it is a very lonely place to be, being that it's that rare. And I am so glad that I came. I really am.